Bam! What's going on, Stanwell holders? I love seeing what's going on this year. 2023 is the year scammers meet justice, and this is another one that just got lucked up. Let's get into it. So a gentleman from Michigan named Franklin Ray thought he was able to lie and cheat his way to success. All right, this guy was willing to steal from anyone. All right, let me tell you the list of things that this guy has done. So the first thing he was able to do was defraud 275 investors. And he was able to tell them, convince them that he had 4,700 trucks and 4,900 drivers. And just in that scam alone, he made $40 million. But this guy only has two trucks and four drivers that the most he's ever had. And just in that scam alone, he was able to get $40 million out of that Ponzi scheme. And after he got arrested for that scam, when he got out, he did another scam. And this scam is he told individuals that if they invest $20,000, each $20,000 they invest, he'll buy a truck and operate a trucking business for them. And they'll make 77% of the net income. And he was able to make $2 million from that scam. I don't get it, guys. I don't get why people are so lazy. Why, why do people feel as if they need to give someone else the money to invest it for them instead of going in and getting the education necessary, getting the experience so they can invest the money themselves because you'll, have, you'll be so much more fruitful. Of course, you're going to have ups and downs, bumps in the roads, but you're going to learn, get good, perfect it, perfect it, master it, and then actually be successful. But trying to give someone else money to invest for you is going to be a failing game because you're leaving everything up to them. And if someone who isn't ethical or is going to do the right thing by you, of course, they're going to, they're going to choose themselves. And one thing I noticed about a scammer, they are willing to go as far as they can to scam anybody because this guy even went and got PPP loans. He went and got EIDL loans. He lied to the SBA and commercial lenders. I mean, he was willing to do whatever it was necessary so they can get some money. And that's where it's worked to him because now he's in jail. And I think he has 212 months. So I hope it's worth it. That's, that's the way I see it because he has restitution. He has to pay back. $42 million, give up his assets, give up his Chevy Camaro. I mean, is it worth it? That's all I wonder. Is it worth it? Is it worth doing all this to end up in a position like that? But you guys, let me know what you think in the comment section. I mean, there's scammers all over the place. But one thing I was wondering in this story was how did this guy find his customers? Because the scam these get people out of so much money, but I don't know him. He's not on social media. I can't find a picture of him. I don't know. I mean, he, he he must have found some kind of channel, but you guys let me know what you think in the comment section. If anybody know, let me know. Peace.